हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर इंग्लिश लेसन स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेसन वी विल रीड यूनियन नंबर फोर्टीन पोस्ट बॉक्स नंबर फ्रॉम ऑक्सफोर्ड रीडिंग सर्कल थ्री सो वी स्टार्ट आर लेसन मिस्टर ब्रॉड मैन वॉज अ टॉल मैन ही वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी फैट सो हिज नेम वॉज अ गुड वन for someone of his shape and size mr broadman was the headmaster of st george school st george's school was not very big next door to it there was a church called st george's church on the other side of the school there was a bakery that was called as dot george's bakery because the owner was a man called as dot george but that was not all on the same road saint george's crescent there was a beauty parlor at the corner called georgina's salon a short way from there was a cycle repair shop called George repairs. So that was Mr. Broadman's problem. There were too many Georges in this part of town. Mr. Broadman was fed up. On Monday, he received mail for the bakery. On Tuesday, he received a parcel of inner tubes for cycles. On Wednesday, he explained to an elderly lady that he did not cut or wash hair he asked the peon to remove her from the school corridor on thursday and friday there was no mail delivered at all and then at midday mr s dot george the baker brought him a parcel containing the annual examination papers how did you get this asked mr broadman crossly crossly in an angry way it was delivered to me by the postman yesterday replied mr s dot george mr broadman growled growled say something in a low grating voice and went into his office on saturday mr broadman was not well so he did not come to school he came to his office for an hour on sunday outside he found a large bunch of flowers with a message that said dear father Thank you for conducting our wedding last week. Best wishes, Mrs. and Mr. Trip. Mr. Broadman held his head in his hands and groaned. Groaned? Make a low creaking sound. It is time to get a post box number, he said to himself. The following week, Mr. Broadman wrote to the postmaster, "Dear sir, I am the headmaster of St George's School. I would like a post box number. Please explain to me how to get one and how it all works. Yours sincerely, Mr Broadman, headmaster. A week later, Mr Broadman received a letter from the postmaster. It was brought to him by Mr S. Dot George, who was very cross indeed, Mr. Broadman opened the letter and read it aloud. Dear Mr. Broadman, thank you for your inquiry about post boxes. You may certainly apply for a post box number. When you are given a post box number, your mail will be delivered to that post box. The postman will not. bring any letters to your address you will have to collect your letters and parcels from your post box the box is locked and you will have the key 
so your mail will be quite safe. Please apply for a post box number by filling in the enclosed form. Yours faithfully, P. Osterley, Postmaster. Mr. Broadman read the letter once more. Then he read it a third time. He looked at the form that came with the letter. He sighed loudly and sat down to fill it in. A week, two weeks, three weeks went by. But Mr. Broadman had no reply from the postmaster. So Mr. Broadman wrote another letter to the postmaster. In it, he said he was very angry. He waited for a reply, but it never came. I am fed up with the PM and the PO, said Mr. Broadman to his wife one day. I am also fed up with getting mail for all those jobs. Why don't you phone the postmaster, said his wife. That's a good idea, said Mr. Broadman. I'll call him in the morning. I'll tell him how cross I am. That night, Mr. Broadman did not sleep well. He was thinking about what he was going to say to the postmaster. In the morning, Mr. Broadman went to the school. He waited until 10 o'clock before picking up the telephone to make a call. Hello, said Mr. Broadman. Is that the postmaster? Yes, said a voice at the other end of the line. I am Mr. Broadman, said Mr. Broadman. I wrote to you more than a month ago for a post box number, but you still haven't done anything about it. This is really true. Mr. Broadman was going to tell the postmaster a thing or two, but the postmaster interrupted him, interrupted to stop a person from speaking for a short period. Mr. Broadman said the postmaster, we gave you a post box number three weeks ago. We sent you a letter and also sent you the key. Well, I have not received it, said Mr. Broadman angrily. Where on earth did you send it? We sent it to your post box number, said the postmaster. Well, man, how can I get into the post box without a key? shouted Mr. Broadman. There was no answer to that. But Mr. Broadman did get another key a few days later. And now his mail does not go to all the other George's on St. George's Crescent. Now come to the exercises. A. Questions 1. What was Mr. Broadman's problem? Answer. Mr. Broadman's problem was that there were too many people with the name George in his town and their mail was always getting mixed up. 2. How many Georges were there? Answer. There were two Georges and one Georgina in that town. There was also a school called St. George's School and a church called St. George's Church. 3. What do you think Mr. Broadman said in his second letter to the postmaster? Answer. Mr. George was very angry when he wrote the second letter to the post box number. He must have been very rude and asked why the postmaster wasn't answering his mail. 4. What is a post box number? Answer. A post box number is the number of a box in a post office or a newspaper office where you can receive all your mail without given, uh, giving out your home address. You have to go and collect your mail from the post box. 
5. Where did the postmaster send the key? Answer. The postmaster had sent the key to Mr. Broadman's post box number. 6. In today's day and age, Mostly people use emails or the internet to send messages instead of writing letters. Compare the two and give reasons as to which one is better. Answer. In olden times, people used letters to send their messages, which was a slow medium of communication as letters took many days to receive. On the other hand, Emails are fast medium to send messages. It takes seconds to send and receive the message. So, email and internet is better than letter. B. Reference to context. Read these lines from the story, then answer the questions. 1. I am fed up with the PM and the PO. A. Who says these words and to whom? Answer. Mr. Broadman to his wife. B. Explain. Fed up PM and PO. Answer. Irritated with. Tired of. Postmaster. PM. Post office. PO. C. What reply is given to this comment? Answer. His wife said, why don't you phone the postmaster? 2. Where on earth did you send it? A. Who says these words and to whom? Answer. Mr. Broadman to the postmaster. B. Why is the question asked? Answer. The question is asked because Mr. Broadman had not received the key. See what reply is given. Answer. The postmaster replied, we sent it to your post box number. See words and meaning. These jumbled words are connected with writing letters. What are they? A. Postman. B. Stamp. C. Post box. D. Letter E. Parcel F. Envelope 2. Make opposites by adding two letters to each. A. Faithful, unfaithful B. Happy, unhappy C. Certain, uncertain D. Do, undo Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.